friends, this video on squares and square roots part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So it's question time now. Let's look at some questions. Question number one. What will be the unit digit of the squares of the following numbers? So let's see what are the numbers given to us. Okay, we have three numbers here. So let's look at the first number. One, two, three, four. So whenever you have to decide the unit digit of the square of that number, we just focus on the unit digit of that number. So here the unit digit is four. And we know that four square is equal to 16. So that means when you find out the square of this number, one, two, three, four, it is very obvious that the unit digit of the result would be 6. No matter what the other digits are, but the unit digit will definitely be 6. I think we have discussed in detail that even if you perform actual multiplication, you would see it very clearly that finding out square means you are multiplying 1, 2, 3, 4 with 1, 2, 3, 4. So obviously the last digit is decided by the multiplication of the unit digits of the number that is 4 into 4, which is 16. So the last digit that is the units digit would be a 6. For the second number, 5, 2, 6, 9, 8, which is the unit digit? It is 8. So when you find its square, you know that 8 square is 64. So can you tell me what would be the unit digit when you find its square? So the unit's digit would be 4. Let's look at this one, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So last digit, unit's digit is 5. So obviously the unit digit of the square would be 5. That's because 5 square is 25. Question number 2. The following numbers are obviously not perfect squares. Okay, we know that they are not perfect squares. We just need to give the reason that why they are not perfect squares. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 3. Now we have discussed about a few rules which help us to decide whether a number is a perfect square or not. So let's quickly recall those rules. So by looking at a number, how can you say if it is a perfect square or not? The very first thing that you try to observe is which is that digit in which the number ends? That is basically you try to look at the unit digit of that number. So here if you focus on the unit digit, it is 3. Now any number which ends in 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9, they are perfect squares but 3 is not one of them. So since this number ends in 3, this tells us clearly that this is not a perfect square. Why? Because when you look at the first 10 perfect squares, you see that all these digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all of these digits square, they end either in 1 or 4 or 9 or 6 or 5. So if you have anything other than these, definitely that number is not going to be a perfect square because you know, whichever number square it is going to be, they would be one of these digits, right? So you, if you multiply two same digits, you have to get either one, four, nine or six or five at the end. That's it. So you cannot get a three at the end. So therefore this is not a perfect square because it ends in three. Next one, here you have a number which ends in zeros. So it's, it ends in zero, so obviously it can be a perfect square. But how many zeros it has? It has three zeros. That is, it has odd number of zeros. And a number ending with odd number of zeros is not a perfect square. Third one, 89722. Two. Again, you focus on the last digit, it's a two. So do you have a two here? No. So therefore, since it ends in two, so it cannot be a perfect square. Question number three, the squares of which of the following would be odd numbers? So we are given two numbers and we have to take, we have to tell if we square these numbers, whether their squares would be odd or not. Now we have learned, we have observed and proved and learned that square of an odd number is always odd. Square of even number is always even. So looking at these numbers, 4, 3, 1, is it odd or even? This is odd. So therefore its square would also be odd. Similarly, when you look at this, 7, 7, 7, 9, is this even or odd? This is again odd. So its square will again be 
odd so how do we distinguish between even and odd numbers i hope you know that if you do, if you have forgotten it just for a quick recap any number which ends in 0 2 4 6 or 8 is an even number all others are odd numbers so here you see it doesn't end in any of these so the number should end in one of these digits so only then it would be an even number so this is the criteria for a number to be even thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you